Hello everyone, welcome back to You Volunteer. It's video game this week, and today I'm going to be talking about my favorite video game right now, which is this guy, Last of Us. It came out, uh, I think, like last June, so probably a while ago, but I didn't get around to playing it until uh, quite recently, and it has just blown my mind. I'm going to let you guys know now, there's probably going to be a few spoilers, so if you haven't played the game, um, stop right now. You might want to go play it first, maybe come back later and see this, but uh, just a warning beforehand. It's been a really long time since I've picked up a game and just not been able to put it down, and that's what happened with this. I, uh, I picked it up and three, four days later, I was completely done with it, everything I could possibly do. I, uh, I spent every moment of my spare time playing this, and that hasn't happened in probably years, and uh, I loved it because of that. Visually, the game is just so stunning. You've got all these amazing scenes and huge panoramic shots of like post-apocalyptic cities, uh, like real cities too, Boston, Chicago, all that kind of stuff, and uh, just the cutscenes as well. They're so visually stunning. It's so well. It's such a well put together game. It really pulls you in. Adding on with the graphics too, you've got this awesome like story versus gameplay thing going on. Uh, like a lot of games you have, like Call of Duty, where it's just all action, all gameplay, not a whole lot of story, versus games like The Last of Us or The Wolf Among Us, where it's just kind of you're picking your character's choices, you don't get to play too much, and you're just steering them like a puppeteer from behind. The Last of Us has just an amazing balance between the two. You have these awesome action scenes. It's a game. You have ammo, you're crafting stuff, you have to get around, jump on top of buildings, figure out these puzzles, and then on the other hand, there's these awesome cinematic scenes where you don't get to steer it so much as, as you normally do, but you get to watch and sit back, and it emotionally pulls you in so much more. And the story, like this concept, is, is really riveting as well. It's kind of like the, the zombie post-apocalyptic thing, but you've also got this amazing story between Joel and Ellie, and it's, uh, it's so beautiful to see the characters develop together. On one hand, you have Joel, who watched the world collapse. He was alive during normal times. Then you have Ellie, who's grown up, and this is all she's known. So when they're out and she sees a movie poster or an old magazine or anything like that, it's just trash to Joel, but to Ellie, it's just... She gets so wide-eyed and like full of wonderment from seeing these small things from the past world. And throughout the story, Ellie and Joel, they start off not really getting along, but it grows together. Ellie sort of turns into Joel's pseudo-daughter, and he starts to really, really get invested in her. And it's beautiful to see the character development and how they grow together throughout all the uh, hardships they go through. The game also takes you on such an emotional roller coaster because of all the characters that get brought in and then lost partway through. Like, you've got Tess, who was like, Joel was with for so long, and then all of a sudden she's just ripped right from you. And you don't even get to stop and kind of mourn for her. It's just, the story keeps going on, you have to keep going. And every situation, there's a new character brought in, and you lose them through one way or another, and every time you're hurt by it, but like you just can't stop. It's such an amazing emotional roller coaster that I have not experienced in a video game ever. It's it's great. Definitely my favorite moment of this video game is uh, the intro scene. Right from the start it pulls you in and you get so emotionally attached. It starts off where Joel is watching the world crumble around him. He loses his daughter and there's just so much chaos and he tries to fight it. He tries and tries and in the end he just loses everything. And very few video games, right from the start, they pull you in like that. Like, it was, it was amazing at the start, but it did not lose momentum. It carried that all the way through. And uh, that's definitely why, I, right when I picked the game up, I probably had to play for like three, four hours because I couldn't put it down right after that, that intro scene. It's just so amazing. I think I've said amazing like 50 times in this video, too. Alright guys, so that was my spiel on The uh, Last of Us for Video Game Week. Um, my question for you guys today is, what's the last video game, book, movie, anything like that that's really pulled you in and taken you on an emotional roller coaster? Uh, leave a comment down below and let me know. Uh, leave a like on the video too, and thanks for watching again guys. I'll see you next time.